Blame it all on me But babe, I know I done wrong You can blame it all on me Why is it that you're always dressed to the nines? Amidst all oh, the chaos going on Oh, this old thing. Um, oh, oh, you mean on the show. On the show, no, um, you have. <laughs> right, in, in, right. In, in real life, too. You're okay, right. I'm like, oh, Mario. <laughs> Handsome, long That's hair. my other rescue. He's from South Africa, my husband. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. He looks like Tarzan. He's like, you know, wow. Grace, totally. Return to Greystoke over yeah, here. Yeah, that's What's right. It? I put some clothes on him and, you know, taught him how to use silverware and stuff, and it's going well. I'll <laughs> adopt him. Coffee now. Here you go, Mr. McHale. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, what's your name again? You can call me Pam Sugar. <laughs> well, thank you, Pam, very much for this. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Oh. I'm sorry, doll. Quadruple extra foam cappuccino, wasn't it? That's right, but this tastes like blood. Well. <laughs> Who drinks a cappuccino without a nice shot of blood? Me! I don't like blood in my coffee! How odd. Pam brings so much joy into my life, particularly this season. Some of the, the dialogue that you have. Yeah. When you read a script, are you just like, Thankful. thank you, Ballon Ball? Thankful to everybody. I mean, all the writers are so amazing. And, and you're, of course, I flip through looking for Pam first time through second and third time as well but um, all about you Chris well I mean I get around to reading all the other people but um I, those lines you know and I when I you know you, you know one when you read one and then the next thought is oh I hope I do it justice you know mm -hmm. so you don't really find out till you show up somewhere like comic-con six months later which ones landed and then you find out how you did. Which ones really landed? Well, I heard blah, blah, vampire emergency, blah, a lot last year. Mm -hmm. What? Blah, blah, vampire emergency, blah. Pam's got a big storyline coming up. Yeah. I think it's already been sort of revealed at Comic-Con that she gets severely disfigured yeah. in the face. Yes. She doesn't take it very well. No, and it's so interesting how she takes it. Because last year she was so vulnerable. And when I heard that this would be happening, I imagined that she would crumble. She doesn't. I have such admiration for her. She um, goes completely the other route, the vengeful route, and she's going to go down fighting. It's really great. Picking pieces of your flesh off your face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> all in a day's work. <laughs> I'd also love to see a flashback, right? Because we be have such awesome. little clues. We have, you know, uh, and don't call me a hooker. That was a long, long time ago. What's that? <laughs> what? huh? I get to these go back there. little morsels that I, yeah. Last question, team, team Bill or Team Eric? Oh, I have to go with Team Eric. Why? He's, he's um, my maker, you know. I, I, there's, there's a line there where um, I guess there's a Kristen and a Pam, you know. Otherwise, I'm a serial killer. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> no judgments I, here today. I need help. No judgments. No judgments here. But, you know, I, I don't know. In that area, I feel like I'm Pam, you know, and, and I'm so close to Alex. I'm always standing next to him. What's the one thing you get asked most by fans? To bite them. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no? Oh. And I never do it. So I this is, this is like very it. special. Just have to ask, do you actually bite them? No, I think okay. I, I, and I let one of them bite me once, which is even odder, but you really? know, was yeah, it? I don't I understand would. why I did that. It was like Comic-Con and I lost oh, my mind. Oh, a fan. I'm thinking of Joe Yeah, yeah, no, Steven. it was a fan. Oh. Yeah, yeah, oh, well, That's no, they can do what they want with me. <laughs> now, here's yeah. something else that people really remember you from. Is yeah. That you were the uh, girlfriend on Seinfeld yeah. who had the man hand. Which I love that you guys bring this up. I was like, right, I'm in New York. <laughs> right. Right. Well, right. we're looking at the are. video, those are man hands. On yeah. that woman. Yeah. But those are not your hands. No. Those are man's yeah. hands. Those are literally, they had a couple of shirts. So they had a guy putting on the shirt and switching in and out with me and mauling Jerry's face because I think that is the funniest. <laughs> and it's the best concept, you know, just as it, look at that. <laughs> she goes, make a wish. She goes, it didn't come true. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and what's also fun for me is every once, it's like every five years I run into Jerry and I ha think, should I say hi? Should right. I? So then I go up and go, um, I'm manhand. <laughs> oh my god! So gosh. like that's another fun thing of my life. You know, every few years I get to say that to Jerry. Well, I mean, you, yeah, you, and of course he'll recognize you after that. Right. Normally he would just then he goes, hi. push you away. He's so sweet. That's great. Well, now you're a star on True Blood. Uh, the first is from Teenage Fangst 84 from Blanchard. She was wondering if you had any advice for safe to wear jewelry, like where to find the non-silver stuff. I know I went to Claire's once and they had the coolest crush velvet Does it look like I shop around here? Do you go to Dillard's? I have someone who shops for me in Chicago. Look, the point is this. No silver, stick to gold. White gold for functions, pearls if you're the church or charity kind. Diamonds when you want to get some. Chanel joillerie if you've got the funds. Chunky for work, you know, oversized rings and statement pieces. Earrings? Avoid big hoops. They're tacky. And if I ever see a slap bracelet, I will personally tell you what I think of you. And one more. Then I've got a hot date with a vaguely European esthetician. Okay. Uh, we had another user asking about the bleeds. What are they, and how do you get them? How do you... Ugh, babies. If your date asks you what you'd like to drink and your response is, be nag with a splash of oh, pause, then you're probably single right now. And you're definitely suffering from TBW, true blood withdrawal. Watch clips, talk about the upcoming fourth season, or admire Pam's extraordinary fashion sense. But you're probably doing that anyway. TBWithdrawal.com.